stampers, it's Julie from thepaperpixie.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome tri-fold shutter card. I just love the impact this has and what a fun card for someone's birthday because you can set it, they could set it up on their desk at work or somewhere in their house to cheer them up. It's just a really cool card. So I've made this using an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, not 12 by 12 because all I have is 8.5 by 11 sheets of cardstock, and the card measures 3.5 by 5.5. We're using Melon Mambo cardstock, Sweet Taffy Designer Series paper, Whisper White cardstock, and Old Olive cardstock for this card. So let's get started. You want to have a piece of cardstock that measures ten and a half by five and a half and we're going to first score it at one and three quarters and three and a half and instead of remembering a whole bunch of measurements I typically just flip my paper around and I'll repeat the same thing one and three quarters by three and a half now we're gonna flip it this way and we're gonna cut from the first score line to the last score line. And we're going to do that at one and a half. And you can just use this guide along here. It's actually going to be at one and three quarters down to eight and three quarters. Again, flip it around and we'll repeat the same thing at one and a half. We're going to cut starting at eight and three quarters up to one and three quarters. Okay, you're done with the scoring and cutting of this piece. Now we're going to fold in kind of a zigzag. So the second score line, fold backwards. Third score line, fold forwards. And then in this middle section, we're actually going to reverse the fold. So this is actually going to go back, and this is going to come forward. It's just a little finagling, but you'll get it. And then we're going to take our bone folder and we're going to burnish those edges. They're nice and sharp. Okay, so that is the base of the card. How cool is that? Now we're going to start decorating it. I'm going to try to do this pretty quickly. And I'm going to have all of these measurements up on my blog for you. But we need four pieces at one and a half by one and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on those. And we have two pieces at one and a half by five and a quarter. Two pieces at three and a quarter by one and a quarter. Then two pieces at one and a half by two and a quarter. All right, and then we're going to have a center mat for our sentiment, and this piece measures three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I've already stamped the It's Your Birthday sentiment, and that comes from the Big News stamp set. Love the stamp set, Big News. And this measures three and one eight by two and one eighth. I just wanted a little bit of a border with the old olive, plus I wanted to make sure that the sentiment fit in the middle. All right, it's coming together. Now we're gonna adhere this sentiment to the front. Again, I've pre-stamped it and I've used the Starburst framelits. I used the third smallest, I guess, one, two, three, or third largest is the one right in the middle. And that fits perfectly with the sentiment, Oh Happy Day, from Starburst Sayings. We're going to attach that using dimensionals. And I'm only putting it on one half because we're just adhering it to this panel right here. All right, 
perfect. Now I'm gonna add a little bow here and I actually am gonna do something slightly different. You could certainly just tie a bow and adhere it to the front using a glue dot, but I'm actually gonna punch holes in the card so that my bow isn't going to go anywhere. So I'm just gonna punch, this is using our 1 8 inch circle punch and just gonna center it up and down in this panel and I'm gonna try to do the same thing Make sure that it's centered with the other hole to the best of my ability. It's not going to be perfect. That's okay because the ribbon's going to hide it. Then I'm just going to feed the ribbon through the back. Then tie a bow like normal. All right, I'm just gonna trim off the ends. And voila! Such a cool card. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for stopping by the Paper Pixie and have a great day.